everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk. My name is John, and today here on the channel, we are going to be talking about Past Lives and its brand new Blu-ray that just came out. So Past Lives is considered one of the best films to be released in 2023. It originally premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in January. It was released in theaters on June 2nd, 2023. Made about $12.2 million at the box office. Not bad for a little indie film that was directed and written by Celine Song in her directorial debut. And it's a semi-autobiographical film about her own life. It tells the story of Hae Sung and Na Young, two young kids who live in South Korea. And when they're 12 years old, Na Young and her family immigrate to Canada, leaving her old life behind and leaving Hae Sung behind. And she decides to change her name to Nora. And these two lose touch. And 12 years later, they finally reconnect, rekindle their old relationship. She lives in New York now. Hae Sung still lives in South Korea, but they are able to FaceTime with each other. But their lives now have become so different than their past lives that it's really hard for them to rekindle the old flame. So again, another 12 years passes by. And Na Young at this point is going by Nora now. She changed her name. And she's also gotten married to Arthur, played by John Magaro. So this movie just really is diving into the relationship of Nora, played by Greta Lee, and one of the best performances that I have seen this year. She is perfect, she is charming, she is magnetic, she steals every single scene that she's in, which is a good thing because she's in most of the movie, and I really feel like she gave the standout performance in this movie. I mean, my God, I cannot express how good of a job she did acting, just portraying all these emotions, and a very realistic performance. She's in intelligent she's funny she's witty and she's very philosophical she does she wears all her emotions on her sleeve and she's not afraid to tell you exactly what she's thinking i just absolutely love how this character is written and it's played so well by greta lee not to say that hey sung's character played by t.o did a bad job at all because he also does a phenomenal job in this movie acting against Greta Lee, and they just both have such good chemistry. Even the child actors, when they have to work together, they have great chemistry as well. And this movie is split up into three 12-year intervals, picking up where the relationship left off, and we're really just exploring how their relationship has gone over time, while the worlds around them have changed, while their own relationships have changed. You know, Hey Sung stays in Korea, while Nora's moving around. She went to Canada, she went to New York, she's very ambitious, she wants to build this career, she has big aspirations whereas Hey Song is just living a regular life and he remembers how close him and Nora were when they lived together in South Korea and how much that relationship had a huge impact on his life maybe even a bigger impact on his life than it did on Nora's life because Nora has had an amazing professional life an amazing personal life while he has struggled lived the normal life and I really think that this movie took a very realistic approach to this subject matter and really plays with your expectations this movie you've probably seen it before done very different very commercialized by Hollywood. You can see the character tropes where a movie like this would go, but that mo this movie never takes the bait. It never goes for it. It doesn't give you the ending you would expect, and I absolutely love the ending to this movie. I mean, I'm telling you, it got me, and I didn't expect it to get me. I, I didn't know how they were going to close this film, but the very simple way that they decided to close it works perfectly. It's an A24 film, so you know it's shot beautifully. You know that there's going to be a lot of lingering shots where the camera only moves around very little, but you're there for that. It builds the atmosphere. It builds time with these characters because the character development in this movie is perfect. You get connected to both the main characters. You even get connected to Nora's new husband, Arthur. You know, that character really could have been very one note and it wasn't. He's very fleshed out as well. You understand. I actually myself related a lot to the Arthur character. I don't know if that's a good thing or if it says a lot of things about me, but I really did relate to that character a lot in this movie, but I was also able to relate to the two lead characters as well. This movie's very philosophical. It might not be the most entertaining movie you've ever seen, but that's not what you're there for. You're really there for the emotional impact of this film, and it definitely got me by the end of it. Is it the best movie of 2023? In my opinion, no it isn't. I still think Oppenheimer is the best film to come out this year, but there's still a lot of movies to come out in 2023, so there's plenty of time. Past Lives, I think might have got a little bit overhyped for me. I heard so many good things about this, and it really is a great movie. I'm not lying. It is definitely one of the best films of 2023, but I definitely think it got a little overhyped. I don't think it's as great as everyone is saying, but it's definitely a really, really, really good film. One that I definitely could recommend you check out, even if you're not able to check it out on this Blu-ray that just came out. But before we dive into that Blu-ray review, if you are a fan of 4K Blu-ray reviews, movie reviews, lists, podcasts, and shorts, we try and do them all here on the channel. Nothing would help this channel out more than by just simply liking this video and subscribing to the channel. 
So, A24, in association with Lionsgate, put out this new Blu-ray for Past Lives. Now, I was actually just going to rent the movie on streaming, like on Amazon or something, but it's like $5.99, I believe, and the Blu-ray was actually pretty cheap, only $15.99. You know, it might seem a little bit pricey, but in compared to a 4K Blu-ray, this isn't that bad. Now, the one issue is it's A24, so there's always the possibility down the line we get a really nice 4K release of it, like they did with Everything Everywhere All at Once, Midsommar, or even The Light house so it's very risky to buy an a24 film on blu-ray because they usually don't come directly to 4k usually a24 puts out their own 4k blu-rays but they do it way down the line it's actually the reason i still haven't picked up pearl and x and i absolutely love both of those movies but there's been the rumor that eventually when maxine comes out that we'll get the trilogy on 4k blu-ray so i'm holding out for that but it's actually really eating me up inside because pearl was one of my favorite movies from last year and if you know A24, they do just such a good job of character development in their films. Like, you want to own those films because you want to revisit them. And it really kills me not to have those movies in my collection. But I figured, hey, it's only $10 more to get the Blu-ray over renting it. And then this way, I own it. And if I really like it, I can go revisit it. And luckily for me, I really like this movie, so I will be revisiting this Blu-ray. And I was very happy to see. Got a slipcover on it. That's always cool. So you slide it off. Same artwork underneath. It's a very basic release from them, which is to be expected for a movie that just got released. You come inside, one Blu-ray disc, the recyclable case. So nothing too, too special here. It's just a regular, hey, let's put this film out on Blu-ray release. And you know, at $15.99, that's understandable. Just to compare it to a movie that came out last year, like Tar, that 4K when it first came out, I believe it was like $32.99 and it's extremely bare bones and this is half the price and it's just as bare bones but there's actually at least some extras on here nothing too crazy kind of just you know some interviews trailers for other a24 films kind of looking at the making of past lives like not a deep deep dive i think that'll be eventually released on the 4k if that ever comes from a24 and this isn't the biggest financial success for a24 but it is a big critical success so i can see this coming to 4k from a24 down the line but i don't expect it anytime soon so this blu-ray is probably the best we're going to get for a while and the audio is a dts hd 5.1 it does a good enough job this movie is very dialogue heavy the score is beautiful it's got a nice you know it's honestly very much in line with a lot of a24 scores same thing with the cinematography if you've seen an a24 film or you've heard an a24 film they all have a very similar tone to them a24 knows their brand and i'm a huge fan of a24's brand i think that's another reason why i really enjoyed this film and the blu-ray is pretty damn good you know it's a 2023 film so you know it's shot very well with the most modern cameras but the big issue is you can just see where a 4k would clean this blu-ray up it's just not hitting the deep blacks there's certain scenes where they're in the dark for a lot there's one scene about midway through the movie where hey song is just sitting in the dark and the blacks are just so gray and you just know that a 4k with hdr over it would clean that up and make it a beautiful looking shot there's certain shots in this movie that you could definitely tell were inspired by Wan kar wai especially in the mood for love because that definitely had an inspiration on this movie just like another movie that they bring up in this film eternal sunshine of the spotless mind you can clearly tell that had an inspiration on the movie but in the mood for love cinematography definitely had an inspiration on this film and that's one of the most beautifully shot films ever and there's certain shots in this movie that just would look gorgeous with hdr over it the skin tones would definitely look a little bit better the skin in general would just look a little bit better you could just see all the blemishes where the blu-ray you can't really see that too much just because of the 1080p resolution but it's still a really good blu-ray not too many complaints and again the big selling point here is the price point at $15.99 if you're only able to rent this movie right now for $5.99 it's definitely worth it in my opinion to pick up this blu-ray for $10 more just because you know what at that point you'll own it and you can always just resell it and get your money back than just renting it and it's gone into the ether so in my opinion it, it's such a good movie that I can recommend this blu-ray and how would I rate this blu-ray and the film on a score of 1 to 10 I would really give this a pretty damn solid 9 out of 10 like i said earlier in the review it's not my favorite film of 2023 but it is definitely a great film and it's one that's going to probably reward you on rewatches. so i'm definitely happy that i have this in my collection i'm hoping down the line a24 gives us a 4k blu-ray because it's so well shot i would definitely love to check that out but for now, this Blu-ray will do. And if you guys want to grab this Blu-ray through my Amazon affiliate link, that is in the description below. But if you want to just really keep supporting this channel, nothing supports this channel out more than just by you liking this video, subscribing to the channel, getting out in those streets, and telling your friends about us. And we'll be seeing you around.